Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Uh, Spanner Man again here with another video. Hope you enjoy the video today. Please subscribe to the channel. Any comments, thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Uh, Spanner Man again here with another video. Now, this one's not related to chainsaws except for the grinding wheel. And you may have seen in some of my videos where I was saying that when you put a grinding wheel on, you might find out that the grinding wheel doesn't sit very good and it got a bit of wheel wobble. Well, I just want to show you how much wheel wobbles in that. Now, the funny part about that, that looks terrible, doesn't it? I mean, you know, you think, wow, is there something wrong with the wheel? No, the actual wheel's not that bad because it was on the other side and I just swapped it over uh because i put a a white wheel on here and if we spin the white wheel the white wheel's pretty good so <laughs> i was really surprised how bad that wheel wobble was uh and i'm going to fix that wheel wobble so let's i know that i can fix it looks real bad doesn't it now, one way of fixing it is that you loosen the nut, but I've already tried that, but I'll do it. I'll just do it anyway. Uh, loosen the nut. And we'll put it in a different position. Tighten it back up. Still looks bad, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't look good. It's got wheel wobble. There's only one way to fix this wheel wobble. And that means that I have to install a cardboard washer. So I'm going to install a cardboard washer and we'll check that out and we'll see whether we can bring this wheel back to, back to the way it was. As I said, it was on that other side and it was okay. It's just that I swapped it over. Now when you swap it over, and we'll just loosen this nut, you find out that what happened before, this is why it's not a good idea to swap wheels around, especially on a chainsaw too, that's why I like to have a grinder specifically for the chain. We'll just zoom back out here a bit. That we'll see whether you can see it. And I'm going to have to make a uh, paper gasket. Is it? There's a little indentation on this wheel here. Uh, and it looks like about a half a millimeter or so, and that's caused by by that the holding washer. So. By putting a piece of cardboard on that, I'm going to hopefully renew that surface and hopefully it bolts up and uh, spins nice and free because it was on the other side and it worked perfect. So, and this is the thing I'm saying about the chainsaws. When you put your grinding wheel on, uh, it, it can get wheel, wob out, wheel wobble and you can see that that's real bad. Anyway, let's see how good we can improve it. Okay, so we cut the gaskets for this wheel and uh, we'll put the gasket on. So it's just two paper gaskets like that. So there's the first one. Just grab the wheel, it's over here. Put the wheel on. And, and you know, you can relate this to your chainsaw. It's a left hand thread, too, by the way. So that's a paper gasket on both sides and we'll see how many times I've got to spin the wheel before it looks good Jeez, still bad real bad put in a different spot oh that's yeah that's bad the funny thing is it was perfect on the other on the other side so we'll go to a different spot Yeah, that's it. We'll zoom in there. <laughs> I was getting a bit worried about that for a minute there, but I knew it was okay on the other side. There's a little bit there, but I'm not worried about a little bit because I'll just tighten that. I'll nip it up. We'll see if it comes any better or worse. Oh, I'm on the wrong way.
That's not bad. I'm not going to worry about that. That's pretty good. When it's running, if you just I just touch the wheel, you can you can still feel a little bumps on it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Anyway, that's a a good little trick because that was more than a millimeter. That was all over the place. And that just goes to show you that you can uh, tune a wheel up so that it's uh, it's working within the tolerance that it should be. You really don't want more than about a half a millimeter out of play uh, going from side to side. And I think you could see that that was out by almost two millimeters. It was really had the wobbles up and by a little simple uh, gasket. Now, had that had failed, I would have had to go onto a thicker piece of cardboard. I've never found a wheel that I can't balance. They're generally fairly flat, but as you could see that where the paper is, you already had an indentation in there. So anyway, thanks for watching. Just remember you can apply that principle to any type of grinder, especially your chainsaw grinder. Anyway, thanks for watching. That was a really good example because that was the worst wheel I've ever seen with wheel wobble. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.